Wait for your sister, please. Aren't you going to walk me in? Uh, no, honey, you're going to go in with William. Why? Because you're a big girl and because I start my new job today, okay? Off you go. What's your job again? I'm an office manager, uh, which means I take care of a bunch of little small businesses, okay? Now your brother's waiting. Why do you have to have a job? Well, a little bit for money and a little bit for my sanity. And if you don't go, I am going to be late. What sanity? It is the thing that you start to lose when you spend 10 years at home cooking and cleaning and looking after everyone and making lunches and never ever talking to any adults, okay? Skedaddle! Do you think I'll get a job? Get out of the car! Okay, well, honey, that's my lunchbox. Thank you. I love you. You're my favorite. Just don't tell your brothers. Okay. How about this? It's the Java you have a to have a. What, with like an accent? Like an Italian accent? Yeah, but Colombian. It's Colombian coffee. It's French. What? It doesn't matter. Why would you do it with an Italian accent? You didn't get like a Colombian drug cartel vibe there? No. But you know what? This might just work. I like it because it's edgy. All right. They're not going to see it coming. They probably wouldn't even want us to pitch it like this, but I think this is going to work. Uh, yeah. Yes. See? Folgers French Roast Coffee, the morning choice of the drug cartel. And then what I'll do is I'll just put P.S. You suck. I suck? Yeah. You think I suck? <laughs> Who won the award, loser? Oh my god, with the friggin' award again. Let huh? it go. I don't know why you're being such a douchebag about this. What? Mom and Dad love you just because of stupid awards. You don't let me trust my idea that doesn't suck. You're the problem here. You're the problem here. You're the problem here. Hey, William. You got a minute? Does I have a minute? No. Why? Because a minute is a unit of time. What? Does time exist? No! Time is an artificial construct devised by mediocre minds to segregate the otherwise seamless flow of reality from what was to what is to what will be. I spent 743 days in a minaret in Kabul. Cool. Did those 743 days exist? No! No. Does those 743 days exist? No! no! No. What did exist was the soldier that went in. What does exist is the seer that came out. Do you ever get writer's block? Hi, I'm Claire Stilton. I am your office manager. What can I do for you today? Would you like some copies? Um, would you like a... You're not in properly. Excuse me? You didn't park properly. You're too far over to one side. Uh, no, I think I'm okay. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> you are too far over to one side. Okay, but I'm still within the designated lines, so... Oh, so that's it. You're within the designated lines. Do you think the world could function if everybody was just within their designated lines? Yes. Okay, look. This side is, isn't even one of my feet. And this side is three of my feet. Okay, who cares? It is just a parking spot. Oh my God, this is becoming laughable. Okay, okay, I am late. I'm gonna go, okay? I gotta, I'm gonna go. Excuse me? Excuse you. I think you are a bit crazy. So we figure you guys are a great cross-section of the everyday consumer. Yeah, right. William was in the army. Marines. Same diff. Liar. I sell airborne cosmetics. Angel, you were a shrink? Astrological consultant. And I sell airborne cosmetics. I've never actually seen any of your clients here. Energy knows no boundaries. I work over the phone. Cosmetics oh. for women and men. Okay, so we need a great idea for Folgers by the end of the day. Well, what do you need from us? A great idea for Folgers by the end of the day. Oh, hi. Uh, 
Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Claire Stilton. I'm your new office manager. <clears throat> Libra. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. You're a Libra. I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your birthday is... Sip October 423rd. <laughs> wow. It's good. It's a gift. So, Claire. Like the song? Got something on your shirt. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, soup and crackers. Uh, your skin looks blotchy. Well, it does? Have you heard of Airborne oh, Cosmetics? Okay, no, guys, I... guys, let's back it up. Uh, you know, it's our first day. You know, I'm sure it's probably been a bit of a whirlwind. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. And I, I, I just parked in your parking lot, and this crazy lady was giving me a hard time about how close I was in this. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning, morning. Olivia. 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 I moved your car. They used to work for an actual ad agency, but then they decided to strike out on their own. Meaning? They got fired. Are you ready? Uh, no, not yet. Does that mean that they're gonna have me do pitch presentations and stuff? I don't see that happening a whole lot. Okay, okay let's get started. What about the, um, what about the gentleman in the underpants? <gasps> That's William. Okay. He's special. Oh, you mean like special, special? No, I mean like spiritually special. Oh. I'm convinced he is connected to another dimension. He's perfection as a man. Astrologically speaking, of course. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Ah, the fool. What's crazy? Oh, uh... <laughs> Angel was just telling me about William. Oh, William's not crazy. No, William's not crazy. <laughs> William's a genius. Yeah. Came through a friggin' war. Went up the other side, a deep, creative god. And there's not a lot of us, so... Oh, you were in the war as well? What? The Hermit. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Uh, okay, can... Do you guys mind if I just get settled in just for... Has your brother said anything about me? That's it. He's a god. It's a god. I totally agree. Ah, uh, the hanged man. How's it going, ladies? Oh, hi, Jay. We were just talking about you. Hmm. Really? Really. I would love just I two minutes to get settled. Just in. thinking that I'd love for you to help me come up with an advertising idea for my new airborne cosmetics approach. I don't know. I was just thinking that maybe we can stay late tonight and hang out together in my office, see, yeah. what, see what comes up. I don't know. See, I think your office is kind of stinky, so. So, uh, Carol? <coughs> How's, uh, how are you getting settled in there? Um, it's Claire, and, um, I'm trying. Trying. Oh, oh, what we got here, a modeling headshot? Uh, that's my husband and I. <laughs> Has anyone seen my brother? Just... <sighs> oh. oh. Oh, don't be alarmed. Excuse me, Claire. May I see you in my office a moment, please? You got something, you son of a brother. All right. So, William, as you know, got a big presentation for a big client. Needs a big idea. And I've got one. We've got one. God. What? Spot opens in the middle of the Iraq War. Guns are going off. Guns are going off. <laughs> You already said guns. There's a lot of guns. We see through the smoke and mayhem of war, two soldiers are drinking a cup of Folgers coffee, and one turns to the other one and says, thank God for this coffee. But it's subtitled because it's Iraq. And we pan over and we see God walking away with a coffee maker under his arm. And he turns around and he says, you're welcome. But it's subtitled, because it's Iraq. No, you don't subtitle God, it's like a rule. Oh really, I hadn't heard that. Yeah. 
You suck. So, what do you think? All right, he doesn't hate it. Hi, please come in, sit. Okay. I feel as though we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I did, I did not mean those things I said about you. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Yeah. And that's all right. I mean, we don't have to share the same values and principles to become working colleagues and great friends. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm so glad. I was just nervous. I was just, <laughs> I was just totally nervous. So tell me, what? What is your, your thing? What's your, what's your business? Oh, okay, very well. I run a spatial organizational company for clients in need of order in both their homes and in their lives. Wow, so like a feng shui kind of thing? No, not a feng shui kind of thing. I preach structure and order. Energy flow is irrelevant. Oh, so you're like a cleaning lady. Ooh, this looks promising. Excuse me, am I disrupting your process? Oh, no disruption at all. <laughs> I'm just doing a tea leaf reading. And how is it proceeding? Well, they do reveal so much. Sometimes they're hard to look at. I agree. Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, in a... What is a veritable kingdom are the cognitively dissociative, yet I'll be to be the queen. Your queen? Well, thank you. And yet I feel you does have a, a, a cosmic awareness that parallels my own. Oh, well, that's just the sweetest thing. That being the case, I was wondering if you would be so kind as to look at the notes and sketches from a new book. William, I would be honored. What is it called? Oh, wait, wait. I'll tell you. It's the, the acquisition, acquisition of cosmic, of cosmic awareness, awareness by the laxative, laxative of truth. Wow. Okay, no, I think you're okay, honey. Just go back to class, okay? Yes, I will make you a nice dinner when I get home. I just have to clean the kitchen first and do the laundry. Yes, I will read you a bedtime story. Your lunch, it's in your bag, hun. Yes, it is, I put it in there this morning. I put it in there. Yes, the little container of olives is in there and I picked out the red parts for you. It's all there. I gotta go. Okay, love you. Bye. I'm so sorry. No worries. Kids, huh? Ah, oh, totally. I just, I am so relieved to be here and have some adult time. It's quiet. You know. Tell me about it. Yeah, you have kids? What? Hey, uh, would you like to help us with a pitch? I, I would love to. Great. Great. What, awesome. what can I do? Um, probably gonna need to clean the room up a bit first. Okay. And I'd love it if you could serve us a nice lunch with snacks and desserts and, um... If you could read this story uh, to us right there to set the tone, that'd be great. And oh, if you're gonna serve any fruit with seeds in it, ah, I've got a little diverticulitis. So. Diver what? Diverticulitis. It's kind of a bowel thing. Gets a little messy. Okay. Cool. Thanks. I really, really appreciate this. What is that smell? Do other people think your office stinks? So, this cream is made up of all natural byproducts on pre-manufactured fruits that were created in fully sterilized laboratories. It's like bad fruit. It's like an apple rolled under your desk about a year ago. God, your skin is so soft. But rugged. Mm. Soft and rugged. Yeah, it's giving me a, it's giving me like a chest pain. 
cross with nausea. Do you not smell that? I promise you that when you do your presentation today, your client's gonna say, wow, that is a killer idea, and he has awesome skin. Mm, I don't say that. Oh God, you're so modest. No, that's just a stupid thing for anyone to ever say. How does this feel? You know, it actually feels pretty good. Hmm. You're uh, pretty good at this facial massage thing. Hello, Mother. It's Olivia. Olivia. Your daughter. Yes, I am. Olivia. No, Mother, you called me. Yes, you did. Yeah, it's the phone. No, the, the thing you punched the numbers into, that was the phone. And no, your calculator is to the right, remember? Okay. Okay, oh, Mother, I will stop by on my way home. It's Olivia. Okay, but... I know you're there. I can see the shadow of your left foot. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. William, do you have a minute? Why does everyone struggle with that simple concept? Um, I think perhaps you may have given me the wrong book. Why is that? Because when I sat down to read it, all the pages were blank. <laughs> When we are born, our lives are a blank slate, a, a set of blank pages, not so? Well, it depends on the alignment of the planets and the house that you're born not in. Not so? Okay. As we grow, our story grows from there, blossoming organically into what we perceive as our reality. Yes. Feel the book. Okay. Feel the rough smoothness of the pages. Feel the texture of it. I do, I feel it. Do you feel it? I feel it. Now, close your eyes. What? Okay. No. Read the damn book! This is a nice change of pace. Wipe counterclockwise. Excuse me? You should wipe counterclockwise. Seriously. Yes, seriously. It's a fact. Most furniture is manufactured with the grain going in one direction. If people don't see that and they wipe up the mess going in the opposite direction, it just makes the problem worse! Sorry about your mom. Well, the, the index is intriguing. There's no and, damn index. Did I say index? I meant source. The source of this book. This dark, broken, mysterious, handsome man who has suffered through war. No, that was not my intention. It was more... No, 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 but yes, yes, because now he has suffered and he has found 
his true soulmate, his spiritually, astrologically perfect, perfect match who will lead him to the light. How am I doing? Needs a rewrite. Jay? Jay? Has anybody seen my brother? Anybody? There you are! Hey. What? What's going on? What's going on? The clients are here. We gotta... Ugh. What is that smell? Yeah, I don't know. You just get used to it after a while. <laughs> Did you just... Are you freaking kidding me? Relax, what's the big... Relax, we got the biggest hey, bits of our lives! Hey, I'm a great person, I need to unwind... And, and you're busy talking your pork sausage... And inspiration... And pork we have more work like things to do! Shelter. Can we go Can now? Can we go now? Can we go now? Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, well, you know, just feeling that rush women get afterwards. After... afterwards? Yeah, you know, my heart is still racing, my body's still tingling, you know. Oh. Okay, well, I gotta get this into the boardroom. He's not into you, you know. Pardon? I'm just saying it's a good thing you're married, because I wouldn't want to see your heart get broken. Are you, uh, are you okay? Do I not look okay? Your, your skin looks a little blistery. Yeah, right. You wish! Okay, I'm just gonna take this and go. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so if we can just, uh... Sort of, of course. Let's just get to it. So Folgers has become like a god in the coffee category. Uh, what... what is that smell? What? It, it smells like, like rotten apples or something. Mm. No? Jesus, it's all over your fucking clothes. Really? Yes. I can't even smell it anymore. That's so weird. Forget it, forget it. Just roll it. Roll yeah. Roll, roll, hey. Roll. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Uh, so our spot opens in the middle of the Iraqi. Is it hot in here? And we see God walking away with the coffee maker under his arm. He turns over his shoulder and he says, "You're welcome." <laughs> <sighs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right? Wow. Hey, that is... Are, are you okay? Mm, I'm... Hi, I'm good. Okay, we should go. Wait! We can tweak it! It's a ram! It could be a ram! That's an easy fix! I'm dizzy. Uh, how's, how's it going? How did that miss? Uh, well, for starters, Iraqi soldiers... Don't believe in God, they believe in Allah. It's Allah! It's Allah with the coffee maker! It's Allah! With the coffee. And I'm not exactly sure why you subtitled it because our troops speak English. What? What? I speak English. Okay, can you just put it in the oven? Well, I know, I didn't think I was gonna be this late, okay? It's just a... Can you hold on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call you back. How the hell does she do that? 